everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the fish room today's job is starting on mega tank again mega tank if you don't know is my diy built eight foot by four foot by three foot aquarium and um, it's a plywood build i'm using liquid rubber on the inside which has caused me some issues shall we say so those of you who haven't been following along the saga, uh, Mega Tank has been filled and has leaked multiple times. It's always leaked in the same place and I've had various attempts to patch it. Uh, I've taken the glass back out and reattached it, but it's always leaked and it's always leaked in the same place which is down in this corner here. Sometimes within a couple of days, sometimes within a week. So what I did this time is I have spent a lot of time and a lot of test fills to try and identify the source of the leak. It's always been in the same area on the outside, but I've been underneath, I've been round the back, I've pulled everything out. No water is escaping anywhere else, so it's one location all the time. And I finally found a tiny little pinprick hole in the very corner inside. So what I've done is I've used geotext liner with the liquid rubber, which is, seals it, and that's, that's reinforcing all the corners and all the edges. I found the tiniest, the tiny, tiny, tiny holes, but rather than patch it again, I thought I'll just strip it out completely. So I've taken this whole corner, this whole section here, I've taken it out completely back to the, well, almost to the bare wood because the liquid rubber sticks like nobody's business and reset everything. So I've put in new geotex liner, I've put in multiple layers of the liquid rubber on top of it, left it for even longer to cure between each layer because I think that may have been one of the factors that was causing me problems. And it's now been left dry with the final layer for about a week or so and I'm going to do the first test fill. Now I know there'll be people out there desperately writing the comments, God this guy doesn't know when to quit, liquid rubber's trash, you shouldn't use it, just give up, move on. I do know when to quit and it's after this. If this doesn't work, it's over. Not that Mega Tank will be dead, but it's over for the rubberized liner. I'm not going to glass it because fiberglassing would be another option but that would just be too much effort i'd basically have to start again i don't think you can fiberglass on top of that but maybe i'm wrong i'm probably going to go down the route of a butyl pond liner uh, and just cut a hole for the window and use some silicon to seal that in but i really want this to work because it's nice it's clean it's slick we'll see how it goes i also if you haven't seen my recent updates, I have now moved in here to do my normal day job. So this is my office. Um, it's a bit of a temporary setup. We've got a desk tabletop attached to the lip of the tank, attached to the, the tank just by some paracord and stuff. But I've got everything I need. And because I'm heating this room, it's lovely and toasty. In fact, it's so warm, I need to take my jumper off shortly. But what a view when this is full. This is going to be fantastic. I can see everything in the fish room I'm spending so much more time here it could not be better a swivel chair if you haven't got one in your fish room is an absolute must i don't know why i didn't do this years ago anyway let's get this starting and get it filled we'll do a bit of a time lapse so you can see the water filling and i can get on with some work Well, it's full and it's been full for going on five hours now. No sign of a leak yet, but that doesn't mean anything. I really need to give it a couple of weeks just to double check and make sure. Um, so if you want to find out, if you're planning on doing this yourself, click that subscribe button and uh, make sure you don't miss the next updates where I hopefully tell you everything's fine. But if it isn't fine, we still have options. We can completely strip it, almost start again really and use fiberglass or a butyl pond liner, which is probably going to be the next thing I do if this doesn't work. But so far, I'm hopeful. I think I found the root of the problem, which was maybe just not letting it cure for quite long enough initially, and then bad bodged patch job trying to get it going again. Um, but you know, time will tell. I, I, do not go out and build your own mega tank uh, using the same materials I have until this video is six months old, a year old and then we'll know for sure whether or not it, it works. I want to take a minute just to show you my little desk setup as well. So down here, uh, I've actually been working down here, so I, I love spending time with my fish. And the more time I spend down here, the better aquarist I think I am. I get to see more 
more behaviour from the fish to see whether things are going well, not going well. Uh, I get to do water changes more often or at least not get distracted by having to go and do things in other places. And the way I've taken that to the next level is with this little disc. So this is a temporary measure. I've just got paracord on each side like this, but I can lift it up, lean it just on the little shelf there, get my laptop, get a monitor, and away I go. And then I can spend all day down here. And the bonus of that is this room being heated. I'm not heating my entire house or parts of my house trying to keep the office warm upstairs. I've got everything I need here, so it's even better that I'm technically saving money, well that's what I'm telling myself anyway, by not heating the house and just having this all set up down here. In the fullness of time, I want to clad this, so I'm thinking about um, whether to do it with something a little bit fancier, maybe some kind of worktop or some something with a bit of pattern, or just to use plain old plywood and paint it, but have like a hinged effect here. So this can be cupboard doors down here, which I can lift up as a hinge, get it all set up so as it just sits nice and I can use this as a desk and then I can put it into fish mode like this where it's just a door. Because um, this is fantastic. This is how I want to spend my evenings and my free time where I can just relax. I can watch a bit of TV up there if I want to uh, do something non-fishy, but I can see all my fish tanks. And when this is full, this is going to be amazing. I just, I can't wait. Anyway, I hope you will join me for that journey. If you fancy seeing what we go in here, I am taking suggestions. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in here. I, even though this has been in the plans for about a year, I still haven't fully decided on what I want to put in here. Um, so let me know what you would keep. If you had a tank this size, remember eight feet by four feet by three feet, what would you be putting in it? And um, there'll be lots more videos coming on this tank, whether it is working now, fingers crossed. Uh, and it's things like lighting, filtration, stocking, all those kind of things, or we might have to start again. So we're closing in on 36 hours with no leaks so far, touch wood still, thank God. <laughs> but as I say, this is not a recommendation, unless this video is a year old and you can't find any other ones in between going, ah, mega tank disaster. Don't take this as a recommendation to do this. It's in no way proven. I've had it leak after a week or even more sometimes, so we don't know yet. But that is a reason to click subscribe so you don't miss out and find out what goes on first hand, second hand. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this kind of thing. Like I say, please join me on a Friday night. We do live streams most Fridays, 9 p.m. UK time, uh, sometimes in here and sometimes upstairs. We'll always talk about Megatank. I get asked about it all the time, so if you have any questions, jump in there. Any suggestions, let me know. Um, stocking suggestions in the comments like I said before but if not I'll see you in the next video and thank you very much for joining me. Bye!